Welcome to cooking cheap, easy, and tasty meals. Okay, today we're gonna make something a little different. I got some fresh peaches and thought I would make a banana peach bread. I just so happened I had some bananas that I wanted to use and it just sounded like a good option. So I'm gonna take three bananas. Now these are not as ripe as I would prefer, but they're ripe enough. I'm gonna take those bananas and I'm gonna mix in with them a quarter cup of oil. And I am just gonna use canola oil. You could use avocado oil, whatever you're comfortable with. I guess you could use olive oil, but I never think about olive oil in this context, but I imagine you could. But I'm gonna use canola oil and I am going to add a quarter cup of honey also. Now, since the oil has already been in that cup, this ought to pour fairly easy. If I didn't have oil already in the cup, I would probably have gone to the trouble of spraying it with a little canola spray. And if you notice, it looks like it mostly came out. There's a little bit left. I'm gonna just get rid of that. Then we're gonna add two eggs. Now you could go to the trouble of doing this all in multiple bowls, but I think I'm gonna do everything in one bowl just to make it easy. And I'm gonna add a little vanilla. That's probably more than I should have added, but it's gonna taste good anyway. Now I'm gonna try and gently get this started and get these. I could mash the bananas with a potato masher I think I'm just do this. The bananas are soft enough that they ought to come together pretty quickly. Okay, I'd say that's done fine. Now, we're gonna add Half a cup half a cup of whole wheat flour. Mix that in. Let's get a start on it. And we're gonna add a half cup of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add another cup of all-purpose flour. I'm doing it half a cup at a time. Okay, so there's one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and a half a cup of whole wheat flour. Okay, now I am going to add some spices. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt in my case. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of cardamom. It'll help bring out the cinnamon flavor. A teaspoon of baking soda. Mm 
Now, we'll scrape this down. The mixture's a little thick because I have not added the peaches yet. Next step is to add one cup of chopped fresh peaches. You don't have to use fresh peaches. I just had some fresh peaches. Fresh peaches should give it a, a somewhat different flavor. I don't want to over mix this. I don't want it to get too tough, but I do want to mix it well. So it's a middle ground. Now I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees. A prepared baking dish, which I'm going to dump this mixture into. When the oven is ready, I'm going to put it in and let it bake for about an hour. We'll see if it's ready at that point. Okay, I just took the bread out of the oven, at least 195 internally, and I'm going to take it out and let it cool. We'll let it cool for about an hour before we cut it. Okay, the peach banana bread or banana peach bread has been cooling for about an hour. So I thought we'd take a look at the loaf. Nice and browned, looks pretty good. Still a little warm, but let's, it's, it feels very soft. Let's take a look. See the peaches are somewhat distributed. Pretty good. It's an interesting flavor. Kind of a banana, a little peach in it. I didn't add but a little bit of honey to this. You might want to add a little more sugar to, to make it a little sweeter, but the peaches are fairly sweet to the banana sweet, so it should be enough. But it is a nice looking dessert bread. I'm sure it'll be good toasted with a little butter on it. So I think this is a winner. So if you get a chance, you might want to try it and see what you think. I think if you don't have fresh peaches, you could certainly use canned peaches or something chopped up. The idea is to get the peach flavor in with the bread. So if you try it, I hope you enjoy it and have a good day. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give us a like. Thank you.